So I wanted to address one of the things that is absolutely paramount, in my opinion, over the years in just being a, an excellent individual. <laughs> and um, it's the, the practice of meditation. I got a lot of questions about how to meditate, what's the best way to do it, uh, who, what's the purpose of it. What I can say to you is that in the busy world that we're living in, there's not a lot of time for people to really tap into what their thoughts are, tap into what their desires are. Um, as I give uh, presentations and as I speak, when I ask people what it is that they want, they have the hardest time writing it down. And it's because there's so much distractions. There's television, there's media, there's, um, you know, there's things that you have to do in life. And all of that clutters the mind. If you don't set aside time to actually sweep out your brain, then you really don't get in touch with the real authentic you. And meditation is something that I've been practicing now for about six or seven years. Um, and at first I really sucked at it, right? Because I have one of these minds that is all over the place. Like I think about seven projects at one time and I want to get them all done. Like, And, you know, I'm very driven and determined. And, you know, people who have that sort of type A personality, those are the people who have a really terrible time, you know, Meditating. So, in, in my book, The Fitness Blueprint, I go over three different techniques of meditation. Uh, I'll do the one that um, that I started with, and then you know you could get the book and check out the other ones, or you could just explore it yourself. Um, the way that I started my first meditation was close your eyes. I actually started sitting in a car because that was like. A really quiet place and the rest of my life is sort of chaos <laughs> um, anyway I sat in a car and what I would do is I would sit down and I close my eyes and I take a deep inhale deep exhale and if I made it through the deep inhale the deep exhale you know there's a natural like pause in your breathing at that point I would count number one and if I made it through the inhale and the exhale without any thoughts coming into my mind. And then. No thought. Then you get two. And my goal was to make it to ten. When I first started I could only get up to three. Uh, once you get up to ten. Or if you do have a thought. You have to go back to one. So you would take a deep inhale. Deep exhale. Wait for the break. Did you, did you have a thought? And then yes or no and then you get a number and then continue on I could only make it to three eventually I got to seven and then like right now I could probably get through four rounds of ten um, and that's you know that's a practice um, also another another step before you you know if you're a person who has trouble sitting still or a person who has trouble meditating um, do more things that you really 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 love doing because what happens is when we do things that we really love and things that we're really called to do, you ever notice like time sort of stops? So there's sort of a, a stop or a break, you know, where you're just doing that thing and you do it really good. So for me, punching a speed bag was one of those things. You just get into a zone and you're not really thinking of anything else. Um, for my mother, it's gardening. Uh, I've had clients who it was playing with their baby or their pet. Um, so that was a state of them being clear. And the more time you spend with your mind being clear or just focused on one great thing, the easier it is to get back to it. So I would say do more things that you love and then incorporate those times where you want to sit down and start meditating. I only started with five minutes and now I do 20 minutes every morning. And I even do something else like um, called transcendental meditation. It's where uh, you can you can entertain thoughts 
And so from a clear place, you get thoughts. And, you know, that's how I get a lot of insight to do everything that I do in my business. Um, that's how I get great ideas. Um, also, in the shower is a great place, too, if you could spend like five, ten minutes meditating in the shower. Because something about water just makes us clear and makes us think better. Uh, so that's what I wanted to say about meditation. It just gets you in touch with who you are. And if you never spend any time being in touch with who you are, then how can you say you're being authentic? How can you say you're being real? How can you even say you're being the best version of you? Um, if you like this, if it helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure that you share this um, channel. I'm actually trying to grow it this year exponentially. I want people to understand that fitness is not uh, you know, just mechanical movement and in, in that, you know, it's really an access to being the greatest version of yourself. As I always say, you're greater than any past conditioning. You're greater than any current circumstance. And only you are responsible for sharing the most authentic version of yourself with the world. Peace, everybody.